Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Quantum Entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for, what is this? Oh, nice. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Oh, Cross Watcher. This, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below. They are just about to open up. So you can either just keep track on my website or you can subscribe there. And that way you'll get a notification when they open up. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all your good karma donations. Aquarius. Wow. Okay. So prepare yourself because I feel like there's some interesting things that are going to be coming up between like whoever it is that you're dealing with right now, whoever, or whatever is going on in your life. There could be, look at this, you have worry and peace. All right. I get this sense that it like says there's no need to worry about this. The universe has got you peace. You have a long, you have come a long way. It is time to rest for the next chapter. Okay, this is totally different though. Than what I'm getting, someone is really worried about some type of conversation or something that, like maybe, is coming up. So I don't know if this has recently just happened or this might come up over the next week that there will be a very intense conversation that happens between you and another person. It's going to bring a really big transformation um, because right now I, I won't get way into it, but uh, Mercury is in Scorpio. So it's going to bring a lot of like really deep, intense conversations. Like I said, that bring some type of awareness or transformation or deep understanding either of self or or about who you've been dealing with, okay? But I get this sense that when this conversation happens, depending on how it plays out, one of you is going to be feeling really at peace, maybe just by a deep understanding of who this person is or something that you've been confused about. The other person is going to be tripping out, <laughs> Okay, with the worry card. So I love this. So on this side, we have the four of swords. That's the peace. There's like some healing or restoration that's going to come to you. And that could be what you're doing right now is you're just in this really deep healing process. And someone could be kind of worried that um, maybe that you're not talking to them or just worried about what you're doing. I just get the sense that this is someone else's energy. So eight of wands, what did I just say about the communication? There's definite communication coming in that is going to bring a transformation. And it could be because someone's like really worried about what you're thinking or or that you've moved on or... And it doesn't just have to be romance. It could be family. It could be anyone here. But you, there, there could be something to Aquarius where you're deciding not to get involved, like in anyone's energy. You're just so focused on whatever is going to bring you peace of mind. And that's way good. That's bringing a huge transformation into you. And look what first is jumping out the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's going to be love offered here. Just like, okay, this is really freaking cool. This conversation that comes in, it will be a lot of communication between you and another person. And there's going to be like some type of restoration or of emotions and you'll even experience it. Like after you get off the phone with them all of a sudden or however you communicate with them, whatever it is, you're going to get a high. Like because I get this sense that with this energy that's going on right now. Because of the depths that you're able to get to with another person and no matter what happens, like whether you guys like decide to move forward or not, there's just some type of love coming in that's going to make like feel really, really good. Okay. That also could be you, Ace of Cups. That could be just you focusing on your self-love. I always have to clarify that because people get mad. Wow. Look at this though. Overhead is the Two of Cups. So you're definitely thinking about another person right now. Straight up. And 
oh my gosh, like there's so much clarity or healing that's going to come from this conversation. And it doesn't have to be straight up but that, oh, you guys are going to decide to get together. Like say this is a romance. What will happen is because of the level of not giving an F that you're at, Aquarius, there could be something that you just come right out and say, which maybe in the past would have been very vulnerable for you to say, or like you'd been holding back. But you might just be at this point where you're like, this is who I am. This is what it is. And because of that, you'll be able to see someone's true intentions, like how, who has your back, who's really there for you, who would stick with you. And because of your just like your confidence in yourself and your determination to continue to just be vulnerable and heal, it's going to expose a lot in people over the next week. And look at that. Holy freaking crap. Okay, well, this is what I'm going to tell you. These are perfect because I'm going to say that this is supposed to be in the recent past, but this is also kind of the surrounding energy. So that's you maybe having the courage to say something to someone, revealing some type of emotions or something like that. You guys will know what this is about, but there's something here about gaining the courage to have a particular conversation or say something that you've wanted to say to someone. And it's not even so much that it will come together or not. What it's going to freaking do is it's going to put you in the sun energy like you're gonna be feeling really really good after this conversation because there could be something that kind of breaks down and where something that you've been afraid of for a long time that's you making friends with your fears like just saying something like exposing something and and really seeing if someone's gonna have a positive or a negative reaction to it yeah, and then uh, surrounding it is the Four of Cups. I'm going to tell it. This is what I'm going to tell you, Aquarius. Oh my God. Okay. This conversation that comes in with this other person, they're going to take space away after this conversation. You're going to be feeling really good because you just did what was best for yourself. Like when, it, especially during the conversation, be very aware of what you're being pulled to say or share because it's going to bring this huge transformation in you and it's going to break through some type of energetic barrier internally like freaking in your cells that's my cell by the way in the background if you guys were wondering what in the hell that was <laughs> so four of cups when after this conversation takes place Aquarius you're going to be on this high just because of you following your intuition to do something or say something this person's going to be sitting here tripping out because they're going to be going through this, uh, this really deep introspection over what truly satisfies them. Like all of a sudden they're going to be sitting around looking at their environment or their current relationships and realizing that it doesn't give them as much depth as either they get with you. There's just going to be this deep realization that happens over like maybe them feeling like they want to be more connected with you, that type of a thing. So that's going to come in. Okay. Cause I can see that. I mean, it could be you, but honestly, I see that as being the other person in the fear position. There's the ace of swords. So that's seriously the theme of this whole spread connected with the strength and the ace of swords. There's something that maybe you're afraid to communicate or reveal it will being bring such a huge transformation like it's seriously going to break apart maybe some energetic barriers and restrictions that were built up around your heart okay and i don't mean this is make it sound cheesy but this is literally what happens energetically and so there could be something here that you deciding to like do something or let someone in for a communication is going to bring this huge transformation and energetic shift for you. Eight of Swords. So what's going to happen is you're going to be a little bit in your head about it at first. Like, oh, wait, should I? Or there will be maybe imagining the worst case scenarios. Like, well, if I open up and what if this, what if this, you know, that type of thing. And it's kind of just about you deciding to trust what your intuition pulls you to do. Like whether it's letting someone in for a one-time communication, that could be it. But you've got these aces. It's going to bring these breakthroughs seriously 
pay attention to this, okay? Nine of cups, and then what it's going to do, this is how your higher self works, is that these are the little things. There's something here where you have your eye on your wish fulfillment, whatever that is for you right now. You're like really thinking about where you need to go to get your wishes fulfilled, right? This is going to be the process to make, to bring that in. And it will be connected with other humans. So that's why I'm saying pay attention to those entanglements because they are going to bring about some type of transformation and an opportunity for you to let some walls down so that you can get to your wish manifestation. And your final outcome card is the Six of Cups. Wow. So what it's really going to do, it could be the restoration of a past relationship. Um, it's going to bring in a deeper connection for sure. Because especially if this is the person that you connect with, they're going to be sitting there like, okay, I really want to be connected to Aquarius's energy. And, you know, a lot of people are getting to that point. Not everyone, but a lot of people are getting to the point where they're finally like choosing to transform because what they've been doing in the past is so uncomfortable and they're sick of being in that space. So that could bring about a huge transformation currently in a lot of connections. And for some of you guys, it could be connected with deep, deep connections, not trauma bonds. I mean, it could be someone that you've been through a trauma bond with in some way, shape or form, maybe a friend or a family member, but there's a definite transformation happening to some type of past connection. And the door that's opening, this is why, wow, like you have begin here, do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now here. There's a huge emphasis on new energies coming in. Straight up. You have two aces plus begin here. So uh, there's something, a new doorway opening up for you, Aquarius. I think this might be the access point to it. Like these connections or these conversations that come in, they might bring. Eight of Wands can be travel and movement as well. So... We'll see. We'll see whatever comes out in the extended. So, of course, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.